Hey what's up guys, I'm Ajib and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to get your camera to work when you plug it into a monitor. If you found this video helpful, make sure to follow three simple steps, subscribe, drop a like, and also follow me on Twitch. I stream every single day from 8am Pacific Time to 12pm. So, if you want to learn more, come to the stream. Without further ado, let's get into the video. And by the way, for my long time subscribers, this video is being filmed on my iPad, so please don't mind it. The main reason why your camera is not working is because it's outputting 24 frames per second, while your monitor is expecting a 60 frame signal. So that's why you're getting that black screen, and I'll prove it in a little bit. But guess what though? Your TV has a built-in 24 frame per second signal. Majority of the film that you've been watching uses a 24 frame per second. It's more natural to the eye, and it captivates the audience even more so it will work with your camera. You can easily purchase a 32 inch TV for less than $150 and that will solve your problem quite nicely. But what if that's not an option for you? Well, you can purchase the Blackmagic Anthem Mini, which will help you convert your camera 24 frame per second to a 60 frame per second so you can use the monitor that you have without changing it or buying a new TV. Now let me show you. For those of you who's been on the channel, you know I purchased the Blackmagic 6K a couple of days ago and I wanted to be able to monitor myself while I'm recording because that was the, one of the main issue and I didn't want to purchase a camera monitor because they cost over $500 for a good monitor. and they're so tiny, literally something like this. You're paying over $400 for it. So I decided to check something out. I had an Acer monitor. I tried to connect it to it and it didn't work. However, when I raise my FPS from 24 frame to 50 frame, I get an image. Whenever I lower it, something, it just went black. I finally figured it out. The monitor is looking for a 60 frame per second signal and the camera is sitting at 24 frame, so it's not working. So what I did was I took a cheap TV, a 32 inch 720p TV, and I plugged it in and it worked perfectly. So pretty much you're seeing this right now and it's working. So if you have a TV, you can do so. And if you don't have a TV, you can go ahead and purchase the Blackmagic Anthem Mini, which will work perfectly for you. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next. Peace. Mm -hmm. 